In this video we're going to show you how to set up the virtual matrix using a second monitor. To start you should have both monitors connected already. Um, we're actually going to simulate this video using TeamViewer. Um, so the top and the bottom right here you're going to see our TeamViewer functions. So we're going to go ahead and show you our second monitor by uh, changing inputs. There it is. Second monitor nice and blank. And this is our live screen monitor. Um, you basically want at this point you want to right click go to screen resolution make sure your monitor number one your main monitor is has an extended desktop to monitor two right here extend these displays um, it's recommended that both these monitors be the same resolution for the best um, possible experience with virtual matrix we're going to close that and we're going to open up the DVR system. As you can see we have our one camera connected um, and we're gonna try and display this out on our matrix. So to start we're gonna go to settings and then right here where it says dual monitor function you want to enable that. It's gonna tell you you need to restart the DVR program. Click OK yes and then we're going to restart the program again we're simulating all of this uh, through a remote client after it's been restarted you can right click any live camera and go to dual monitor setup here you're going to expand the TV client list which should read 127.0.0.1 and you're going to see TV1 and TV2. Now TV1 is going to have an X through it because that is your live monitor, that's the monitor you're working on now. TV2, you want to add that to the client monitor list and then select it and go to setup. Here it's going to show you uh, four partitions by default and if you expand the local DVR here list to your left you're going to see your cameras. Now you can set this up to where you can have more than just four cameras in the partition. You can set it up to 16 cameras at once in the partition. Then from here um, you can change the partition to whatever the partition size to whatever you want 1, 4, 9, or 16. And this changes how many cameras will display at once on your second monitor. So for instance, if you only want one camera to display on the second monitor, you can go to partition mode 1 and then drag the camera you want to display. Also, if you only want one camera displaying, this one camera to take up the whole screen, you can add camera 1 and then camera 2. And what happens here is it'll display camera 1 for a, an X amount of time and then rotate to camera 2 for an X amount of time and then back to camera 1 and you can do this with multiple cameras. You can go camera 3, 4, and it will rotate through all those in that order. Um, and you can really put in whatever order you want. And then to change the time that it stays on each camera, you go down here to interval, change it from disabled all the way from 5, 10, 15, 20, and in intervals of 5 to 1 minute, which is 60 seconds. So if we have this set on 60 seconds, it'll stay on camera 1 for 60 seconds, change to camera 2 a minute later, camera 3, 60 seconds later, camera 4, a minute later, so on and so forth. Um, and then you can adjust, you can just adjust this accordingly. Um, to remove cameras from a partition, you just right click them. You can double right click to um, delete all. Um, but we're going to set up a partition mode of 4, and we're going to drag camera 1, 2, whoops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we have a partition mode of 4 with 4 cameras on each on each partition and we're going to change the dwell time to 10 seconds each 
that means on the first partition over here it'll stay on camera 1 for 10 seconds and then it'll go to camera 5 and then camera 9 and then camera 3 with 10 seconds in between each camera. Same with this partition with camera 2, 6, 10, and 14. Same over here with 3, 7, 11, 15. And same over here with 4, 8, 12, and 16. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And exit. Save. It'll pop up save successful. OK. Exit. And now we're going to go take a look at our second screen, which is this. Now, you, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are just all black, and then it changes to 5, 6, 7, 8. That's because we don't have any cameras attached. It'll change here in a second to a camera we do have attached, though. Um, just change again to 9, 10, 11, 12. And I believe the next change has our camera on it. There it is, camera, third, or camera 14. And it'll display for 10 seconds and loop back around. Um, again, you can set this to whatever you want. Just make sure both displays have the same resolution. Um, and that's how you make a virtual matrix.